Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 news, updates, add-ons, and more. And today I've got a couple things that I wanted to show you guys or share with you guys that I think you guys are going to really enjoy. Now, one of these is a, some payware. We also have some freeware, um, but either way, I think that you guys will like this. So without further ado, let's get into it. And our first segment of today's video does bring us to this beautiful beast in front of us, the Airbus A320. More specifically, the A32NX A320 um, brought to you by Flyby Wire Simulations. Now, they have obviously been doing a fantastic job with this. If you are unfamiliar with the A32NX, please check the link in the description below as it will take you to it. Um, it is a freeware add-on. If you've ever heard of the Zebo 737, it's basically our version of the Zebo 737. Uh, Flyby Wire and their team have done an amazing job bringing this aircraft from the default um, unfortunately what I would call a poor representation of the A320 to the amazing flight model and uh, aircraft that we have in front of us right now um, it opens up multiple features and uh, additions to the default aircraft again it is completely free and truly brings it very very close to a study level simulation and so with that let's talk about some of the changes that have come with the latest development release and soon to be the stable release first let's just talk about the sound so I'm gonna zip my lip for a minute guys and let's listen to a few things that are pretty awesome Just a few of the many sounds that have been updated for the aircraft. They've also seen, we've seen um, engine sound improvements, roll sounds, you name it. I mean, they're just really tearing this thing right down from the bottom up and giving us something new. The other thing they're bringing to it, and again, this is available in the latest development release, is this guy. I am so excited for this part, and, and I probably shouldn't be as excited as I am, but I'm just weird like that. So oftentimes when we create our flight plans, we will use SimBrief, okay? Now, SimBrief has the option to either use kilograms or pounds, um, but one of the biggest headaches that we have at the moment is that, um, and here's SimBrief for those of you who haven't seen it yet, if it ever, let's just try that again because it's clearly not loading right now. Uh-oh, okay, cool. Um, SimBrief allows us to create... Um, flight plans okay so if you never heard of SimBrief before i highly suggest that you register here it is free and allows you to come in and create a new flight plan based on whatever uh, airframe you're flying and you can see its default loadout is in pounds as far as the unit of measurement now where the conflict is is that by default the a320 uses kilograms but unfortunately when we try to use our weights and balances in the simulator if you switch it to kilograms this is a setting um it bugs out so i'll show you guys what i'm talking about real fast we'll make this real quick so if you go to miscellaneous, change the units of measurement over to metric, hit our apply button, okay, and wait for that to load, go back, go back again. One of the problems that we have is if we switch it to kilograms, watch what happens with the wing tanks. All right, so I've heard that you can set them to zero, and you should be able to move them back up. So let's just set everything to zero. If we take all the fuel right out of it, and you want to add fuel in the wing tank, this is it. I mean, I can't, no matter what I do, I cannot pull it. You can try to type in here, it won't let you. It does all kinds of, I did not type those numbers, nowhere close to those numbers. So it's bugged out, right? <clears throat> so let's go ahead and switch that back because I will absolutely forget to do this later and then I'll get frustrated. So let's just do this. Um, so you have to leave it on US system right now, pounds and gallons. Well, the difficulty there is that the A320 MCDU uses kilograms. Sim brief, great, we can set it up for kilograms. But if you actually want to configure the proper weights and balances of the aircraft in the simulator, we have to use pounds and gallons. Well, now these guys at Flyby Wire have made my day yet again. They just keep on doing this for me. I think it's because they love me, they really do. And they want to go to options, and we can now change our weight unit measurement to pounds. And now that way when we go to our 
aircraft pages and we go like for example the hitting our zero fuel weight we are getting this in pounds as you can see these numbers have now changed dramatically for those of you who know the airbus um, this would be more like 62 65 ish right somewhere in that range because it's in kilograms now we're getting it in pounds so that is absolutely awesome one unit of measurement across all three platforms that we use um, the three platforms being the mcdu the weights and balances and sim brief so excellent job once again to you guys over at fly by wire i can't express it enough keep kicking butt i'll keep supporting you and keep broadcasting your name out there you guys are fantastic anyway so i just want to show you guys those couple things real quick if you guys are interested in flying the airbus a320 and you just don't have the know-how um please check out the links in the description below there's a paypal link and a patreon link PayPal link, if you donate $10 or more to the channel, I will send you a personal guide that I have created. It is a complete start to finish flight from Tucson International over to LAX. And when I mean start to finish, I mean start to finish. Everything from downloading the mod or the add-on, installing it, creating your flight in sim brief, entering everything, breaking it all down into what it is, and taking you all the way down to shutdown over at LAX. Again, $10 or more will get you that document and every release version that comes afterward. The link will not stay that or will not change. So for those of you who already have the document, please keep the link in the email that I sent you as that link will be um, available for you for future updates to the doc, which a new update of the, ver of the document will be released tomorrow. All right, so let's go ahead and move on. <clears throat> All right, so next on our list, while we're sitting here at the terminal of Las Vegas, Fly Tampa has released their version of the Las Vegas scenery, and I must say it is absolutely fantastic. I will go ahead and give you guys a little before and after shots here. So forgive the stuttering, guys. My sim isn't really particularly enjoying recording and spanning the uh, city while we do this at the same time, but you guys get the gist. So here is the newer version here. I'll do some before and after shots here that will be popping up on the screen, so hopefully you guys will get to enjoy those. Um, but it is an absolutely amazing add-on in addition to the simulator. As you guys can see here, the strip looks absolutely fantastic. Um, incredible amount of detail went into creating this particular version of it. I'm really, really impressed. This is 1999. It is a payware scenery, but far surpasses what we have in the default version, even with the latest U.S. Uh, uh, world development um, that was released into the simulator what, a couple weeks ago now. Um, just absolutely fantastic work. I mean, just stand by for a second here and just sort of look at the lights, look at the windows, look up at the, down at the billboard signs. And even crazy, this was something that I had asked for previously. Forgive the horrible camera work, guys. I don't use this thing very well. Um, but anyway, for something I had wanted previously, keep an eye on. Look at the Bellagio over there. We have the fountains blowing away just as I had asked for. It's like these guys just knew what I was looking for. Let's go ahead and take a peek down at that. Very well done. A very nice touch that we're going to have when flying on the approach past the uh, past the strip here. It's going to be really cool. Let's go ahead and bring it back over here. And there you guys go. So anyway, once again, Fly Tampa, $19.99. Absolutely worth it if you're someone who enjoys flying to Vegas, especially if maybe you want to take a VFR flight at night. This would be absolutely perfect for it. Um, so uh, anyway, let's go ahead and move on to our next piece today. And next on our list, you guys, is make sure that you guys are going to the content manager and verifying that you have everything up to date. Simply toggle all and then hit the update. What I have been missing is the Coronado aircraft. That is the Cessna 182T, the PA44, and the M20R Ovation or the Mooney. Um, all had updates. Three aircraft, three updates for a total of almost two gigs of data. So that's some pretty significant updates there. So if you guys own any of those aircraft, make sure you are coming into the content manager via your profile content manager. Hit toggle all and make sure that everything is up to date as a third party aircraft don't necessarily update with the patches that we get from Asobo. So uh, check that out, guys, as that was a big catch for me and something that I continue to overlook actually on a pretty regular basis. So I figured I'd throw out this reminder. All right. So the next thing I want to talk to you guys about was this guy here. And this is 
Sky Park by Parallel42. And you can find it over at Parallel42.com as you see up there in the toolbar. Link will be down in the description below as always. Now, what this is, and it's about 30 bucks US dollars, uh, give or take. I think it's a couple more dollars than that. Um, but what this does is, like many other softwares, it, it gives you a purpose to fly, right? Just like FS Economy, just like, um, what's the other one? Air Dollar, or Air Hauler 2, excuse me. I don't know why I said that. Um, but it has a little bit more of a twist to it that I actually wasn't expecting. Now, I purchased this just today. Um, I haven't had a chance to really dive into it, um, but I'm going to be doing a full review. But let me give you guys a tip of what I do know so far. So the breakdown is you decide the type of airframe that you're interested in flying. Okay, whether that be a TBM, a Cessna, airliner, doesn't matter. Okay, and then you get contracts based on that airframe. Okay, so, you know, obviously jobs, whether it be, you know, commuting or, you know, cargo haul or whatever. Um and then you have a financial system, so you get paid, right? You have to and you have to spend that some of that money on resources. And as you gain experience, yes, you actually have to level up. You have an XP bar. Um, you will continue to um, gain further resources, gaining new contracts. With those new contracts comes new cost, and and you have to manage your. Oh, hey, I have a driver ready. Um, you have to manage your resources and finances more and more as you move up the chain. Now here's where the risk gets interesting. This was the twist I wasn't ready for. When I first installed it, um, I was asked if I wanted to be displayed potentially illicit content. And I'm like, what? In a flight simulator? Like, okay, so curiosity peaked at that point. I hit yes. I'm like, all right, I gotta know what could possibly be illicit in a flight simulation. And what it potentially is, is you have a karma system. And based on the type of contracts that you accept, you may be working for good people, you may be working for bad people. You may be working for people who, you know, want to um, have you transport things that maybe aren't so legal, you know, um, or you might have, you know, things that, you know, are perfectly fine. So based on your karma, your karma obviously will go down if you take, you know, a shady job, you know, with shady content, you know, and you won't get, you know contracts from the more popular companies that you're wanting to be a part of or that may be your thing you want to be you know a, a runner you know somebody who's transporting things they ought not be transporting um, but anyway so that was a really interesting twist to this thing that I found kind of cool and um, <clears throat> it has uh, its own tracking system you actually do launch the software while you're running it you accept the contract once you accept the contract you load the sim up at the airport in your aircraft um, that the contract is, is starting at. So there'll be much more to follow on this, but you know what, guys, for $32, I think, and that's US dollars, obviously, I think it's going to add a lot. I mean, that is a really interesting take on flight simulation. You know, Air Hauler 2 and, and, and FS Economy, all those, they're great. Don't get me wrong, absolutely fantastic. I think what this Sky Park is, is is with the karma thing and having good and bad con contracts, they're taking flight simulation to a new level. They really are. And, and, and I'm really interested to see how this pans out. And like I said, there will be a full review on this uh, very soon. But uh, I wanted to share this with you guys because I think that's, that's something that could really add something to you to your simulation experience. And for 30 bucks, and then right now it's a base price, but later on there will be a subscription option which will grant you obviously future updates and things of that nature that will further enhance the product i mean this is a very as you can see here it's early access right now um you do have to download the orbix installer no big deal wasn't a bi wasn't a big deal at all it actually was kind of nice um walks you through the installation process lets you pick your locations etc um but i really recommend that you guys give this a shot and i haven't even had a chance to fly with it yet and i'm already saying and this is the interface right here this is what it looks like um it's got a bunch of tools and stuff that we would see in some of the pro flight equipment um so i i'm i'm really i'm really excited to see what this is all like so come to this website at the very least guys again that's parallel 42.com forward slash them uh forward slash sky park Take a look at this. I mean, really, really get an idea of, of what you got going on here and see if there's something that you might be interested in because, you know, I'm excited to try it out. So anyway, let's go ahead and move on. 
Last one on the list say that I wanted to share with you guys is a big one. The working title CJ4 mod has gone through a major update, at least what I would consider major. I hope they do as well. Because again, just like a fly-by-wire, these guys at working title are absolutely blowing it away. So here's some of the key features that we have. I'm just going to sort of run through a couple. I'm not going to go through the list. You guys can see it here on the screen. But um, custom flight plan manager, the vertical navigation VNAV has been implemented. FADEC, um, RNAV capability. Um, <clears throat> improved FMA display. Um, the, and there's a bunch of these down here. I'm going to let you guys sort of just scroll through. Feel free to pause the screen. Coming down the engines, um, there's been some improvements there. PFD, MFD management, and most importantly for me, just because I love the immersion aspects, new sounds. Now, they specify it's a work in progress, but we have a bunch of sounds that are being added to the aircraft as well. Be sure to check out the known issues. I love that these guys do this. I think that's um, it, it really speaks volumes when companies do this. doesn't matter who they are, um, when they really point out... Some of the things like, hey, we know this is wrong. We know this is broken. Gives you a heads up of what to expect. You know, if there's any weird issues, way behavior. That way you can really make the decision to go after it or not. Um, as well as currently, you know, navigational items not currently implemented, but scheduled for future updates. That's cool. So now we also know where they're headed. Obviously, they're going to address the known issues. So we know all of this is a work in progress. Um, anyway, so I just wanted to share that with you guys. Be sure to check that out. Um, if you have any questions about how to install mods, please check out some of my previous videos. Um, I walk through how to install mods and add-ons and different tools to use. The other thing that I've got coming for you guys is a video that is completely start to finish once again of installing Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 and using all the different tools that we use now. Um, I was going to do this last weekend and some bunch of things came up and I had to postpone it. Um, but uh, I am going to be doing that. A lot of things have changed. A lot of new tools are available. A lot of add-ons have been added and removed and deleted and postponed. And, you know, so I figured now would be a good time to sort of just do a rehash, right? Um, especially with Christmas coming. And, you know, I'm sure, you know, some people are going to be getting simulators for Christmas and things like that, new hardware and whatnot. So with that in mind, I hope you all have a very wonderful evening. Stay safe, stay healthy. Merry Christmas to you all who celebrate it. Again, if you guys are interested in the A320 guide, be sure to check out the links in the description below, whether it be Patreon or a donation. If you choose the donation method, please just keep in mind that um, through the middle of night, I sleep just like you guys do. Um, so if I am not, um, if, you're, if you have to wait a bit, um, keep in mind I'm in Arizona, so I'm on Mountain Standard Time. Um, so again, you know, if you have to wait a few hours, fret not, I am going to get it to you while I'm up and moving around throughout the day. Um, I typically have it to people within less than an hour, if that, all right. So, uh, anyway, I hope you guys do well and, uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Take care folks.